Grodno is a beautiful multinational European city with an interesting history and modern developed infrastructure. The favorable location on the border of two large economic unions, a high level of education of the population, a temperate climate and clean ecology make this place attractive for life and business. Industry and agriculture are widely developed in Grodno and its region. By 2020, a nuclear power plant will be launched here. A stable level of the personnel potential of the region is provided by four higher educational institutions. Grodno State University of Yanka Kopala, Grodno State Medical University, Grodno State Agrarian University, and the Institute of Business and Law, as well as 26 institutions of vocational training, 28 educational institutions of secondary specialized education, a branch of High Tech Park, the center of IT industry of the country, is located in Grodno. Important automobile arteries run through the city. There are large transport and logistics centers. Grodno region has a developed railway communication system with the possibility of using the western and eastern track. The Grodno airport provides international flights. Customs, border, sanitary control, and a warehouse system are available. The proximity of international airports and seaports complements the region's attractive business climate. Grodno is called a cultural capital of the Great Silk Road. Its geographical location and developed logistics system open the perspective for the region of becoming a part of the global transnational project, One Belt, One Way. The Free Economic Zone Grodno Invest was established in 2002 and is one of the most dynamically developing free economic zones in Belarus. Investors from 35 countries of the world are confident in their investments and customers from over 50 countries have appreciated the high quality of products of the residents of the Free Economic Zone. Собственно говоря, история развития э, самого предприятия Конта – это и история э, развития и становления свободной экономической зоны Гродный Инвест. Э, начинали мы и учились вместе, и э, поправляли друг друга. И хочу сказать, что поскольку в администрации свободной экономической зоны работают реальные профессионалы, мы имели очень хорошую поддержку в развитии, в правильности принятия решений стратегических, в подборе персонала, в умении взаимодействовать на внешних рынках. Tax and customs preferences increase the investment attractiveness of the region. Exemption from profit tax on export deliveries and between residents. Exemption from property tax and land rent. Import of equipment, raw materials and materials for the implementation of investment projects is carried out without payment of customs duties and VAT. Exemption from customs duties and taxes when exporting finished products outside the boundaries of the EAEU or within the free customs zone regime to another resident. Within the customs union of the EAEU, a unified customs territory operates within which goods are handled without customs duties. Quantitative restrictions, non-tariff regulation measures are not applied. These conditions help to significantly shorten the payback period of projects and increase the profitability of the products. Pobyt w strefie ekonomicznej pozwolił nam na wybudowanie w sumie trzech fabryk. Pierwszy zakład, który powstał tutaj w Aulsie, wykorzystywał wszystkie ulgi, które daje strefa. Przede wszystkim ma możliwość sprowadzenia kosztownych urządzeń bez cła i podatku. To na początku inwestycji, która w sumie zamknęła się w 10 milionach dolarów, jest dużą zachętą dla inwestorów. Kolejne dwa zakłady to następne 10-12 milionów 
które również wykorzystywały możliwości sprowadzenia urządzeń do rozpoczęcia produkcji. The total area of the territory of the Free Economic Zone Grodno Invest is over 3.5,000 hectares and consists of industrially developed sites located in Grodno and Grodno region. To implement projects within the Free Economic Zone, investors are offered land plots with developed engineering and transport infrastructure and free production facilities at the operating enterprises of the region. The key direction of increasing the competitiveness of Free Economic Zone Grodno Invest is the development of clusters in the historically established industries in the region. This type of cooperation, based on leading enterprises, will allow residents to reduce production costs, introduce new technologies, and strengthen the market positions. Light Industry Cluster Chemical Industry Cluster Woodworking Cluster Metalworking and Machine Building Cluster Agro-Industrial Cluster Logistics Cluster Tourist Cluster Administration of Free Economic Zone Grodno Invest manages a pilot project in the tourism sphere on the development of the Park Augustov Canal. Augustov Canal is an outstanding hydraulic engineering installation of the 19th century one of Europe's largest canals, which has been included onto the preliminary UNESCO World Heritage List. Today, Augustov Canal is one of the best places to relax. Situated on the border of neighboring countries of Belarus, Poland, and Lithuania, the canal became the center of cultural and sporting events a place of attraction for original folklore collectives, musicians, and masters. A pleasant attribute for foreign tourists is a visa-free regime on the territory of Augustov Canal in the city of Grodno. Attractive conditions are created for business development, substantial tax and customs privileges, land plots for the development of hotel and restaurant business, the construction of sports recreational, sanatorium, and health improving complexes are provided for potential investors within the tourist and recreational park of Gustav Canal. The professional team of the administration of Free Economic Zone Grodno Invest will provide comprehensive support to every investor, from the investment idea to a successful business in Belarus. Уважаемые дамы и господа, учитывая наше уникальное географическое положение, учитывая наш культурное наследие, учитывая тот промышленный экономический потенциал, которыми располагает Гродинский регион, я приглашаю к обсуждению проектов транснациональных, связанных с использованием преимуществ Европейского Союза и Евразийского Союза у нас здесь, в Гродничне.